Ah, platformers. Cheery, bright, colorful, whimsical platformers. If you know me, or if you watch this channel, you should know by now that these are the kind of games that I play to unwind. That I play to unwind. That I play to unwind. Okay. Uh, screw that, I'm out of here. That's what I used to think, until I got around to playing Play Dead Studios 2010 Indie Convention Buster, Limbo. From the intro screen, it hits you in the face with a black and white color palette, but that is the only thing about this title that is desaturated. So let's begin. A game designer by the name of Arndt Jensen founded Play Dead Studios in 2006 with the goal of creating games with an intense atmosphere. Limbo was the first to be created out of that studio, and I can testify that they achieved their goals. There is no intro, no traditional music, no dialogue, or direction. You're simply placed in a world devoid of color and expected to figure it out. Despite lacking those features, this game still feels alive in a way that I can't quite explain. The crunch of your foot on the grass, accompanied by a soft hum in the distance and the sounds of nature in the background are both terrifying and compelling in a way that you have to experience to truly understand. The majority of the puzzles take an unorthodox approach to solving them and each one is tackled in a different way than the last. The environment's just unsettling enough to make me nervous to progress but not to the point where I don't want to continue. These elements come together to add weight to every action that you take, even if what's going on screen isn't necessarily fast paced. Upon its release, the only available description of Limbo was, uncertain of his sister's fate, a boy enters Limbo. And that speaks volumes about the importance that Playdead Studios placed on player interpretation. There are hints of a larger message at play. However, you're more than likely going to have to beat the game before you can make your own conclusions. And given the adventure is roughly six hours long, it's well worth the journey into Limbo. One of the only complaints I have with this game is that the visual style that makes it so unique and compelling also causes some issues with visual clarity. I'll share you an example of a section where you slide off a roof and let's see if you can figure out what I did wrong. If you got nothing, I was right there with you, but the answer is right here. To Limbo's credit, I was introduced to the concept of these signs much earlier in the game. But this one in particular is placed in such a way that it looks like a background element. Let's take account of how many times I died before I figured this out. Other than a few moments of confusion, the only thing that slows Limbo down is your ability to use logic to solve the puzzles. As you tiptoe through the ashen landscape, what lurks around the corner will entice you to find out what lies beyond Limbo. I can't wait to eventually dive into Inside to see how Playdead has grown in the years since Limbo's release. Thanks for making it this far and all of my personal work can be found right here in the top right corner. Thank you for watching, and I'm out of here.